Hey guys, so welcome to this week's vlog. So this week we have, what do we have? We don't have that much going on. Today is Saturday, so happy Saturday. <laughs> Even though you're gonna see this on Wednesday, today is Saturday. I have to run to J. Crew to pick up a couple of tops. Guys, I know you're probably like J. Crew. J. Crew really doesn't look like my aesthetic, but I love to get basics from J. Crew, like a basic white button up shirt or button down shirt, a basic denim shirt, a basic tartan plaid. Like every season, J. Crew has tartan plaid shirts, and I absolutely love them. So I need to get three shirts from J. Crew, and I'm gonna take you guys with me. And I also need to go to Sephora because tomorrow is the last day of the 20%, you know, whatever. And I need to get from Sephora, not fragrances, this Dior um, lip oil. Let me show it to you. I should have had it in my hand, but this Dior lip oil, guys, I showed you guys in my haul that this is, this is everything. Like, this is literally everything. This is what I'm wearing on my lips right now. It's so shiny and it looks very glossy. But it doesn't feel sticky and tacky on your lips. Like, I used to love, um, where is it? My MAC. And I still have it. I always just have it in my makeup drawer just, just because. Like, I just feel like I've been wearing lip glass for years and I just can't let it go. But I don't really wear it too often. Tomorrow is the last day of the 20% from Sephora. So I definitely need to pick up a couple of these because they're not cheap. They're definitely not cheap, but I always want to have them in my collection. So if I can get them on a deal, I'm definitely going to get these. So this is actually all I really need from Sephora because like literally Sephora, why another sale so close to the sale that just happened? But whatever. I'm just going ahead and get me my lip oil and keep it moving. And I also wanted to show you guys my fragrance of the day is by Killian and it's Apple Brandy on the rocks. Let me tell y'all. Okay, so I don't really hear too many people loving this fragrance. I mean... Angel Share, she gets all the praise, but listen, this apple brandy is everything. I already sprayed myself. I'm just spraying myself just for you guys, just so you can see me spraying it. But trust, I already doused myself in this fragrance. It's so good, guys. It smells so freaking good. So run into J. Crew, um, run into Sephora, and that's pretty much it because I'm not just trying to stay out on the streets and spend money. I have not done my Christmas shopping yet. I will try to do that at some point this week, but I'm definitely not Christmas shopping over the weekend. Like I'll do that like on a Tuesday or a Wednesday, like just randomly, like early in the morning, like when nobody's in the mall or not nobody because people are always in the mall. But I definitely have to get my lip oil. And honestly, guys, my Sephora isn't popping like that. Like I showed you guys when I went to the, what is it? The Bath and Body Works sale for my candles. It's not really popping like that. The line wasn't crazy. I don't live in a super crowded area where everybody's coming to the stores. It's not like that. Thank God. <laughs> so, you know, I'm able to go in, maybe wait in a cute little short line, you know, nothing too crazy, and then just keep it pushing. So, what am I wearing? Oh, so, <laughs> guys, somebody asked me about my Yankee hat. So, I'm always wearing a Yankee hat, right? Because I'm from New York, live in New Jersey now, but I'm always repping New York. But, aside from that, this is actually my, <laughs> I don't want to say the word, but it's my, what, what does Kiko say? Kiko Beauty. Porsche Panorama. You guys know what I'm talking about. It's that hat because I have buttons here. I have a button here and I have a button here because this is where I attach my mask. I do not put my mask behind my ears like when I'm just out and about throughout the day because it hurts like crazy. And because I like to still, I'm somebody that still wear my mask. I know a lot of people aren't wearing their mask. I'm still wearing my mask. And when I'm out and about, I don't wanna have to worry about the mask hurting the back of my ear like hell. So I just sew these buttons onto it and I just attach it to here. If it's across my face, it's taut. You know what I mean? Like it's nice and taut. So this is my protection hat and also my repping hat because I'm always repping the Bronx, New York, okay? Um, what else we got going on? So that's it. So I will see you guys shortly. Right, guys so j crew is successful now we're on our way to sephora and i'm glad that my sephora is a freestanding sephora so i don't have to deal with walking through the mall because i don't know about you guys but i hate walking through the mall especially on a weekend so we're headed to sephora so i'll see you soon so 
So they only have two left. And I'm getting the last two. I think this is Passion Intense. Yeah, I tried that and it wasn't, I didn't feel like I needed it. So did y'all know that it was 30% off Atelier Cologne? I thought it was only 30% off Sephora brand. I like Atelier. I think I'm gonna need to look into one of these for 30% off. Let's see. I already have Pacific Lime and I love that for the summer. Vanilla Intense or Vanille Intense. I'll try that. Thank you so much, Michelle. Of course. Hey guys, happy Sunday. I know you're seeing this on Wednesday, but it's Sunday around these parts. <laughs> okay, so happy Sunday. <laughs> guys, I just wanted to thank you. Before we get into the Q&A portion and I show you what um, I'm hauling today, because it seems like every vlog I'm hauling something. We may have a problem, but we'll talk about that in another video. But I wanted to thank you guys for all of your support and your kind words <laughs> from my whole like Instagram and YouTube social media drama with the trolls, okay? I'm starting to get used to the trolls now. I'm blocking and deleting. I'm no longer calling Pookie. Because honestly, I was about to call Pookie and them and it wasn't going to be pretty. It was going to go sound like this. Hello? Yeah, Pookie? Yeah, it's me, AI. Yeah, we got beef. Oh, word? You got beef? Say less. Where they live at? Um, on my phone and on the computer. Yeah, that's where they live. Okay, that's where they live. All right, what they look like? Um, they got a transparent face with a blue background. Yeah, that's what they look like. H Hello? Pookie. Pookie. Pookie, you there? So anyway, so I need to hurry up and get this vlog like done because I have a whole lot of work to do. I have to clean off all of my shelves, dust off all of my bottles. Like it's a lot. Like I do this at least once a month. Like I take everything off the shelves and clean all the shelves, my bags, my shoes, my perfumes. And then I give my bottles a cleaning as well. Like once a week, I'll go in and dust, you know, like I'll dust the perfume bottles and shine a few up. Like I'm shining up a new car. But once a month, I have to clear off all the shelves. It's like, it's a process. Let me show y'all. So once you see this, you know it's about to go down. We got the glass cleaners. We got the glass cleaning wipes. We got the microfiber cloth. It's about to go down. I have my things that I'm going to be hauling for you guys. So we got a couple of things going on today. And I will be answering some of y'all's questions. Some of y'all are nosy. Okay. Y'all caught that? Some of y'all are nosy. I'm not going to say the word, but y'all know what I'm talking about. I'm like, damn, okay. Y'all thought I was going to answer that? No. <laughs> but anyway, let's get this started. Okay, guys. So before we get into the Q&A portion, I just wanted to show you the things that I bought. And excuse me for always drinking water, but you guys... <laughs> There must be like dry air in here because I could literally be in the middle of recording a video like, yeah, this perfume is beast mode and it's everything. And it <coughs> <coughs> I start hacking up a lung. Like, so if I don't have my water next to me, like it's just not, it's not a good situation. And I felt like that dry air in my throat, like that dry throat coming along. And don't nobody got no time for that right now. So, let me show you what I got from J. Crew. I mean, honestly, like, I could have passed on this because it's nothing special. But it's just things that I feel like are staples for my wardrobe. And this one is a denim top. I love to do a, what is it, a European or Canadian tuxedo with denim on denim love that look and denim just makes everything just look casual but then it's still polished because it's a button down shirt and then 
Uh, you guys, this angle is probably weird. I probably look super dark. I couldn't set up all my, uh, not I couldn't. I didn't want to set up all my lights. So I'm just sitting on the floor. <laughs> so a white, oh, this is going to wash everything out. But you get it. <sighs> a white button up shirt. And this tartan plaid. I'm going to wear this at some point during the holidays. Even either a Christmas dinner like holiday dinner thing like this is like my third one like I get this all the time and when it gets too like washed out or too worn looking I just get a new one because J. Crew literally has this every single season and I love it it's plaid it's just my zhuzh it's very Ralph Lauren by the cabin holiday couture <laughs> So, okay, so let me show you what I got from Sephora. You guys know how I'm always showing you my Marc Jacobs Perfect Bottle. And it's like damn near like two mils left. Like there's damn near nothing in there. It's disrespectful how much I beat that perfume up. Well, I got my backup bottle finally. Finally got my backup bottle. I'm not going to open it yet because I still have, it's still a little bit in there. I know y'all trying to play me out like sis, it's a whole bunch of sales. You could have gotten the Perfect Intense. But I still have some in there. And this, I'm not gonna open this until 2022 because I did not have it on my tray. I wanted to finish that bottle for the year and not bring it to 2022. But because I didn't put it on my tray, she gotta stay. Hey, oh, hey, hey, okay. <laughs> so anyway, I got my Perfect Intense backup bottle. And I got my Fenty uh, refill. Guys, like this is just, look at that. I mean, I could probably put it on my hands right now because I'm probably a little ashy. So let me just rub a little bit on my hands right now and I'll do the refill. I'll, um, you know, exchange the inside once the video is done. And I got a beauty blender. Guys, I cannot go into Sephora and leave without a beauty blender. It's just a thing. I don't know what it is. I'm just addicted to beauty blenders. I'm obsessed with beauty blenders. It's just like whatever. Plus, I got the 20% off sale. So, and then as I showed you, I got my two lip oils, which are amazing. So, that's that. And guys, I have a package all the way from my favorite place on earth. Yes, you guessed it. Dubai. I got a package from Huda Beauty, well, from Kayali, from Dubai. And you guys probably know what this is. This is the Eden fragrance. I did not open this box. As you can see, I'm opening it with you guys here on camera. I was so excited. You guys were like, AI, did you smell the Eden? Did you smell the Eden? I'm like, no, no, no. Because I know I wanted to open it in the vlog. So here it is packaged so nicely from Dubai. All right, so in this envelope here, I don't know, this lighting is not, I'm not feeling this light. Ooh, is that better? No, I look yellow. <laughs> Whatever. So here we have a little card, a little postcard. The ad campaign, Eden Juicy Apple 01. Oh, so this was the first try, because you know how they have Vanilla 28? That was like the 28th try. So this was the first try and they got it right? Okay, Mona and them. And I did not put a fragrance of the day on today, guys, because I knew that I wanted to try this. Oh, this bottle is so gorgeous. Look how pretty this bottle is, guys. It's so pretty. And it's transparent. It's not um like the, what is it, the pink diamond bottle. All right, let me see. Let me see. Should I put it on my skin first? Yeah, I'm gonna put it on my skin. See the atomizer? Ooh. 
Oh, it smells good. Oh, it's sweet and juicy. Yes. Now, obviously, I can't speak to the performance or anything like that. But I can say, ooh, it went up my nose. Just by smelling it, I don't feel like it's going to be like a bee smell type of fragrance. But it smells so good. It smells like a juicy hard candy. Ooh, it's really pretty. Now, this I think is more for like spring, summer. Or, you know, like sexy night, sexy date night. But not sexy date night out like at a restaurant. This is sexy date night in the house. Because I feel like this is going to be like a man pleaser. Like it's really sweet. You know what this smells like. And this is no disrespect. This smells like a fragrance that if you're a dancer, like an exotic dancer, this is the fragrance that you're going to wear at night while you're working. You get what I'm saying? Because the men are going to love this type of scent. It smells youthful. It smells feminine. It smells girly. It smells sexy. The men would love this. So this is that type of fragrance. I feel like I can definitely see an exotic dancer wearing this while she's at work. It smells really pretty. And it's one of those where it's not gonna, it's not loud. Like I can tell already just by spraying it here on my hand that it's not a loud scent. It's not gonna be that type of experience. I'm not sure how long it's gonna last, but just from smelling it, I can tell you that it's not like a roaring beast type of fragrance. Now, this is the first impression. If you guys wanna see a review, I will do a review. What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna do a whole entire Kayali, I'm looking at them right now. What I'm gonna do is an entire Kayali collection. And then I'll be able to review all of the fragrances within that one video instead of having to do like multiple videos. But if you wanna see a review on this fragrance right now, my girl Abby from Abby with Love, she did a review on this fragrance. So you can check that review out. I let that video play on mute because I did not wanna hear anything about this fragrance. I wanted to make my own judgment, you know, an assessment. And I can tell you that I do like it and I can tell you that it doesn't smell like anything that I have in my collection. But you know what? Now that I'm down here, it's giving me the vibe of Christian Siriano. Let me spray Oula Rouge on my other hand and see. Because for some reason, it's giving me that vibe. Maybe because I'm looking at the bottle. So this is Eden Apple. Eden Juicy Apple. And this is Oula Rouge. You know what? They could be cousins. They could be cousins. It smells like a scent that if you love feminine sweet fragrances, you'll love this fragrance. <laughs> so let's get to the nitty gritty right now. So I compiled the questions. So we have personal questions, right? So we have personal questions one and two. We have fragrance related questions and YouTube related questions. So let's start with and this is like one of the main questions that I was getting from so many people. What do I do for a living? So although you guys know I'm very private, but sometimes I will post a story or two, you know, with me at work. So it's probably not, a, it's not a secret. It's not a secret, but it's not something that I talk about. And I don't talk about it only because I don't want people asking me questions about people that I know, like, oh, can you get this person to do such and such for me? Or my child wants to do, acting or rapping can you get such and such i don't want to be involved in any of that so i don't tell people what i do but i do work in entertainment in the film industry and that's that <laughs> and like i can give you an example so one time i had 50 50 cent on my story this was a couple of years ago i had him on my stories and we were having like a conversation about something and seriously i got 20 dms that day like you know 50 can he do such and such or can i be in power or can i do that skirt like no like i have i don't even follow people that i know guys because i don't like the questions i don't want people to want to be in my circle or be a friend of mine because of the people that i know or my affiliates you know what i mean so for that i just keep it straight up like i don't talk about it i may post every now and again but it's not something that i publicize all the time like i said because 
people are weird you know what i mean and i just i don't have the time for it i don't want to deal with it it is what it is so that's what i do for a living like i said entertainment film industry period so someone asks how am i able to have so many fragrances okay so you guys know although i make a decent living in the film industry i mean i don't spend all my film industry money on perfume one i have a man so when he wants to buy me things i ask him for fragrances also i get fragrances sent to me all the time i just got eden sweet apple juicy apple <laughs> what is it eden juicy apple sent to me like i get a lot of fragrance sent to me my entire bdk collection was sent to me my entire fragrance dubois collection was sent to me um, my entire Nishane collection was sent to me. Do I buy all my fragrances? No. Am I sent every single fragrance? No. But I am sent fragrances. I'm gifted fragrances. Another question that I got a lot was how did I meet Bay? So we met through mutual acquaintances at a bar. And it wasn't a hookup or anything like that. It wasn't a blind date or anything like that. He didn't know I was coming and I didn't know he was coming. But we were all hanging out. We hit it off and the rest is history. Literally, we were in a relationship like a month later. Like, seriously. <laughs> what do you do outside of, what do you love outside of fragrances? Oh, I love traveling. I love clothes. I love home decor. I love cooking. I love going out. I love getting dressed up. The next question, how do I stay grounded? And that was a really good question. How do I stay grounded? It's from my upbringing. Like I came from a very, very, very humble upbringing. It doesn't get any humbler. Now let me stop. Let me stop because my mother will curse me out. No, I come from humble, um, a humble upbringing. Like we, I grew up in the hood. You know what I mean? I grew up in the Bronx. Um, my parents didn't have a car. They did not drive. I was taking a train and the bus for the longest, longest time. And I had no qualms about it. Um, we lived in a building, like a six story building. I did go to Catholic school. I went to an all girls school. Um, and then I went to college in New York as well. So, I mean, I grew up like it doesn't get any humbler than where I grew up in the hood. So that's how I stay grounded because I've been blessed to experience the best of both worlds from, and people may say that's not the best, but for me, it's that made me who I am today. It gave me my swag. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like it gave me my common sense. It gave me my street smarts. It gave me my, like, it just gave me a lot. It gave me my style. Like I just love where I come from. Now, do I want to live there? No, because I outgrew it and I feel like, you know, I just don't want to live there anymore. But I love where I come from and it made me the person who I am today. And like I said, I was able to experience the best of both worlds. From that side, that real gritty, grungy side to the finer, finer, finer side. You know what I mean? And also I grew up in a two parent household. My mother and father worked very, very hard. Like my parents worked so hard for the little bit of money that they were making. But honestly, I wanted for nothing. I didn't realize I was poor until I got older. Like, when I was younger, I didn't realize that we were poor. Like, I mean, I had everything I wanted. I was, I got all the toys. I had all the Barbies. I had all the Cabbage Patch Kids. Um, I had coach bags going to school. I had DKNY. And Biggie was speaking about DKNY and Little Kim. I'm like, oh, I want DKNY. That's what all the cool kids wear it. And I got DKNY. The Gap. And back in the day, the Gap was the ish right like the gap was the business like you wore gap and you had fly clothes i see my mother and my father work really long hours and work really hard to make a life for us and that is a part of how i remain grounded so someone asks a couple people asked about my earrings are they custom made i should actually show you up here okay let me show you the earrings that they're talking about okay so these earrings in 2022, I will be selling. Um, I didn't make them or anything like that. I just got them wholesale and this one as well. Cause you guys are always asking. So they're so gorgeous. Oh, and some other styles as well. So I'll let you guys know, but in 2022, you will be able to buy my earrings and I'm only selling them for like $40 or $45. Like they're not super expensive. So question that i got a few times is how tall am i and i'm 5'10 flat meaning without no heels now with the heels on <laughs> you know 
it's a whole other story because their heels are healing. <laughs> oh my goodness. So yeah, 5'10 without any heels. So self-care practices, traveling, disconnecting. There's nothing more special to me than having a movie night home with Bay. Like, honestly, guys, we're not theater people. He's more of a theater person than I am, but I'm not a theater person. And this is even before COVID. Like, I don't know. I just feel like, you know, when I started going to the theater, when they bought an iPick to New Jersey, then, I, you know, that I do like the iPick because it feels like you're in your own cubicle. The seats recline and are comfortable. I like a comfortable movie experience. For me, I feel like going to like a regular theater and just sitting down with a bunch of people around me. I can't kick my feet up. I can't recline. Like, that's not comfortable for me. Like, I'd rather be home in my very comfortable house. You know what I mean? Movie night at home with Bay is so special because I'll cook, you know, movie food. Like, I'll make um, fries. Like, I'll make chicken fingers. I'll make little burger sliders. We'll have drinks, nachos. Um, I just make it really special and it's really fun and because I'm not a TV person I don't watch TV all the time because I don't have the time So when I do get to sit down like every weekend we get to sit down and just like watch TV or watch a movie not really TV. It's really like Netflix or Amazon Prime movies or whatever movie that we find um, That's just like a great time for me now more personal Where would I live outside of New York and why okay? So I don't live in New York I'm from New York. I haven't lived in New York since I want to say 2013 or even before then, like maybe 2011. I've been living in New Jersey for a lot of years now. I moved out of New York because I just wanted a better quality of living. Where we live now, we live in like the mountainous area of New Jersey. It's so funny because I'm like, you guys think I live in New York? Have you watched my vlogs? Like, do you see the bushes and the trees that I'm always showing in my vlogs? Like, seriously, we live in a very mountainous area. Um, I love nature. I just love being around trees and greenery and lakes and ponds. And I just love it. You know, we live an hour and a half outside of the city. The city meaning New York. <laughs> um and for me it like it is what it is like i'm i'm used to the drive on my drive i'll watch youtube videos i watch my videos to see what i can improve on um i watch other people's videos like that's what i do on my drive and i don't have an issue with it and that's no traffic like an hour and a half no traffic and the city she also asked what city i would live in if i didn't live in new york which i just told you guys i don't live in new york but if i didn't live in new jersey where i would be living <sighs> do you guys know can you guys guess duh dubai i would definitely live in dubai that's literally my favorite city in the world i love 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 the middle east i love dubai i just i just when i'm there i just feel comfortable I love the culture. I, I just love it. I don't know what it is. It's just fly. It's just so... It's everything. I love Dubai. And I would definitely live in Dubai. I would just have to convince Bay to pick up and move to Dubai. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Patricia. So what's my favorite color? I have three favorite colors. Okay, I'm cheating. So pink would be one of my colors because... I'm feminine and it just represents me as a person just like very feminine girly and pretty and then green green makes me happy and I'm not just talking about money I mean that too but I'm not talking about money I'm just saying like green in general like I love green clothing green accessories green but green everything green is just a very pretty color and then black because it's sexy so that's three favorite colors and someone asked, this is the last personal question. If I wasn't doing fragrance videos, what would I be doing? And I said makeup or cooking, like cooking videos or makeup videos. And honestly, like I'm not, that would never happen. But I'm just saying because I love makeup and I love cooking. So I'm just thinking maybe that would be, or even like a travel vlog. Like if I had a travel vlog channel, if the world was what it was supposed to be, you know, maybe I could have had a travel channel as well because I love traveling and I love travel vlogs. Like travel vlogs are one of my favorite things to watch. Ugh, love, love, love travel vlogs. So let's get to some fragrance related questions. So someone asks, am I allergic or sensitive to perfumes high or low quality? And no, I'm not. 
Um, but I will say that I don't like lactonic or milky type of fragrances. I also don't like chocolatey notes on my skin like Guerlain's Gourmand Coquine or however you say it. N no. If there's chocolate in my fragrance, I just want it to be in there a little bit and just add a little bit of sweetness. I don't want to smell the chocolate. So chocolate notes, milky lactonic notes, it's a no for me. So my tuberose sis asked me, Keep one tuberose fragrance. Okay, so I have to cheat. I'm sorry. You already know. We're here. Twilly is one of them. But I have to put a tie between Twilly and Rouge Malachite. Rouge Malachite. Ooh, and then Tuberose Imperial by BDK. I'm sorry, sis. It's three of them. It's three. It's three? Sorry. Those are three tuberose bangers. Um, someone asked, is Valentino Donna overhyped? And I'm going to say no because, I mean, I do own it. Where is she? She's right here. This is a beautiful scent. You really can't smell it through the... I got all types of scents on me. Who told me to spray this? But... Mm, no, she's not overhyped at all. Woo! Yeah, this will make you do the bank head bounce. Love this. Definitely not overhyped. I love that fragrance. It's one of the best Valentino fragrances to me. Although I have Dolce Viva, um, is that the name? Yeah, Dolce, Vo no, not Dolce, Voce Viva. And that's a pretty one. I just bought the Intense. But if I had to choose between the two, it's definitely Donna Born in Roma. That's everything. Love that fragrance. Mm, she's so pretty. Someone asked, what was my first designer fragrance? And then someone else asked, who inspired my fragrance collection? So my first designer fragrance was purchased by the person who inspired my fragrance collection and that's my father my father bought me angel that was my first designer perfume and i thought i was the ish you couldn't tell me nothing okay you could not tell me anything because i had an expensive perfume and angel was everything i had the lotion the shower gel like angel just smelled like everything to me where is she oh she's right here actually and this is my original bottle. Not, no, this is the second bottle that he got for me. My name is engraved on this one. But um, this is before the bottles were standing up. <laughs> so I had the little star holder to hold it up. But that was my first designer fragrance. And it has sentimental meaning to me, obviously, because I've been wearing that for years. My father purchased it for me. And my father was the frag head in my family. Like my mother had. She had a couple of, you know, fragrances, but she wasn't really into perfume. She's not really into perfume like that. But my father, he's the one that had the fragrances all lined up on the windowsill. Yes, the windowsill. I told you we grew up in the hood, right? <laughs> so he had the fragrances all lined up on the windowsill, like just lines like Jacquard, Fahrenheit, all that old school stuff he had there. All the Ralph Lauren polos. He had every single polo because my father was a Ralph Lauren fiend he loved ralph lauren so just seeing him with the big collection then i started to line my stuff up on the dresser but it really wasn't a bunch of perfume bottles it was like victoria's secret bottles i had my love spell i had my angel was it angel no heavenly i think it was i'm not sure i don't remember but i had all the stripper juice that's what i call them okay stripper juice all my stripper juices were on my dresser lined up because i wanted to be like my daddy one thing led to another and i started to replace my stripper juice for like real perfume bottles <laughs> so that's is that my last fragrance related question yes because i don't want this video to be too long guys you already know so someone asked does youtube pay well and is it worth it to start a channel so i'm gonna say this youtube pays differently to everyone it depends on the length of your videos how many ads you have running through your videos how many views you're getting on the video you know all that stuff now in terms of like if you want to start a channel based off of if YouTube is paying well, then I suggest not starting the channel because you're not going to make any money for like, I mean, your channel could take off and blow up and you could possibly be making millions of dollars in three months. Who knows? I'm just saying, do it for the love of it. You know what I mean? And the money is just an added bonus because this is hard work. Like literally it's hard work we make it look easy but honestly guys it's hard work especially when you're editing your own videos you know planning your own videos when you see creators that's on here all the time a few times a week showing up for you showing up and showing out for you make it look easy but it's not easy okay especially now like during vlogmas and i'm not talking about people that are doing like um 
regular videos like fragrance videos you know regular sit down fragrance videos and saying it's a vlog i'm not talking about that i'm talking about real life vlogging like you are vlogging your day editing it at night and putting it out in the morning and giving me good content like kiko beauty i talk about her all the time guys because i just love her and i love her channel and she puts so much effort into her videos she's doing vlogmas and when i tell you that I, I just look at her like wow like she's really doing this every single day staying up all night that's why i support her videos i definitely support people like that because if you're putting in the work then i feel like we should support people like that because I mean, don't let that work go unnoticed. You know what I mean? Like, be there, comment, like, subscribe, because that is no joke. First of all, me doing a vlog on a Wednesday is hard work, okay? So imagine, like, every single day doing vlogs like that. I just admire the the vloggers, you know, because the vlogmas is about vlogs behind the scenes. I want to see what you're doing outside of your sit-down videos, like, your home life, what, what are you eating for dinner? Are you cooking? Are you at the mall? Are you driving? Are you with your family? And give me a little Christmas in there too, you know what I mean? That's what Vlogmas is and I can appreciate people that do stuff like that, but for me, it's just, you know, YouTube is a lot of work, okay? So just make sure you're doing it for the love of what you wanna do or what you wanna talk about and not for the money. The money will come. If you're good at what you do and you're consistent, the money will come, but you just gotta really work hard at it and not even think about the money. Don't think about the money because you're gonna be spending your own money, okay? <laughs> this question is pretty much, I guess I kind of answered it a little bit, but I'll just go over it a little bit more. Someone asks for advice for new YouTubers and I say, like I said, don't do it for the money. Um, be consistent. Um, don't emulate anyone. Be different. Be an individual. Do something different. Like you watch YouTube videos. If you want to do YouTube, you watch YouTube videos. So do something different to try to stand out. When I first started my channel, I was talking to animals and cartoon characters. And that was what made me different. Because there's a lot of fragrance reviewers. And we're all going to be talking about the same fragrances. But what's going to make your review different and stand out from everybody else? You know what I mean? Just be an individual. Be transparent. Because people can see. Like honestly, people can see who's real and who's not real like y'all are smart y'all are sitting there watching us all day every day y'all can see i mean there's receipts you know what i mean like you have receipts from when you first started your channel to now you can go back and look to see if somebody is authentic or not be your authentic real self and the strong will survive the next thing is be neutral have youtube friends but for me i would say don't have any clicks like be friends with everybody, you know, be neutral, be friends with everybody, be that girl that everybody likes, but don't be clicked off because that, I started off in that kind of clickish world and it was a fail for me. 86, dead the clicks, be neutral with everybody and then your life will be so much easier on YouTube. Trust me, okay? <laughs> um... What made me start my fragrance channel? So what, and this is the last question. What made me start my channel was the 2020 quarantine lockdown, okay? I had nothing to do. The only thing I was doing was crying. I cried a lot. I was crying and I was also watching Cuomo at 12 o'clock every day. It was watching Cuomo and crying. Watching the numbers of, of this situation and, and how many people were dying. And literally, it was like piercing into my soul. Why I kept watching the news, I had no idea. But Babe was like, listen, you got to stop. Because I was watching YouTube videos in between time, you know. But I was also watching so much. Everything that was going on with this situation, I was following it like I was trying to be a news reporter. So Babe was just like, mm, you ain't going to drive me crazy start your youtube channel like you you stay watching them why don't you do that you have perfume why don't you do that too you know like start your channel and i was just like whatever like i'm shy like i can't edit like i was making all type of excuses and then one day i just did it and june 30th i did my first video on tiziana terenzi to bit and i've just been consistent ever since on youtube because i actually started to like it like i didn't know that this was gonna you know take me all the way to 20 21 about to be in 2022 i was just like okay while we're locked down and nothing is going on um you know i'll i'll be on youtube so it can be a distraction from everything that's going on in the world literally last year was just like one of the hardest years of my entire life i thank god for bringing 
YouTube into my life for making it a distraction from everything that was going on because you guys, it was so rough. And I'm not talking about just the situation with the pandemic, just family stuff. Um, I, you know, obviously I'm not gonna get into it, but just know that it was the hardest year of my life. And if it wasn't for YouTube, I really don't, well, if it wasn't for God, bringing YouTube into my life, I don't know how I would have um, got through it because it was it was rough. It was really, really rough. Um, literally, YouTube was my saving grace in 2020. So once we started to open back up and I still was doing YouTube, I was like, oh, okay, I guess it's something that I really like because I just got used to it. I got used to it. I got used to building the community. I got used to talking to you guys. And then I saw my channel growing and I was like, oh, we might have something here. Hold up, hold up. So my channel started to grow and then I'm like, okay, let me, let me, let me go over here on Instagram and see what I could do over here. Because for a while, my Instagram was like just sitting there. Like I said, I wasn't doing anything. I wasn't really posting in 2020 and I didn't want my channel to be a perfume. Like I didn't want my page, my Instagram page to just be like all perfume. So I wasn't posting anything and then I just, I had a plan. Like for me guys, I have to plan stuff out. So I had a plan and I started to put my plan in motion and now I'm close to, maybe, hopefully by the time you see this video on Wednesday, I'll be at um, 18,000 subscribers, 18,000 followers on Instagram. But if not, it'll probably be like 17.900 and something. <laughs> That's my goal now for 2022. I'm working on my brand. Like, honestly, it wasn't something that I always wanted for like all my life. I wasn't like, oh, I want to be an influencer. But sometimes God has different roads for you. And once he puts you on that road and you start moving, you listen, follow and, and follow through because you just never know where it's going to take you. So I'm just going to ride this ride, continue building a community, continue building a brand and seeing where it takes me because it, it's, look, it's looking like it's looking good. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's looking up. It might have been something good to come out of 2020 for me because Lord knows, honey. Whew, Lord knows. Mm. So, if you guys have stayed this far in the video, something is smelling. Ooh, guys. So, I'm not smelling Eden anymore on my hand. We gonna... We're going to give her another chance, though. We're going to give her some more chances, but I'm just letting you know that what's killing it right now is this Valentino Donna Born in Roma. She should have been on my tray in December. We might have to make some adjustments. Because the Donna Born in Roma, she is screaming right... Calm down. Why are you so loud, girl? She's yelling at me right now. But anyway... If you stayed this long in the video, because I know this video is about to be very long, um, you guys deserve a prize, okay? <laughs> so I'm gonna do another giveaway, and this time the giveaway is gonna be hosted with SoAvantGarde.com in the fragrance group. We will be giving away one BDK fragrance to a US resident who has Instagram. I'm sorry guys, but you gotta have Instagram, okay? Even if you make up a page, it, it takes two seconds. You gotta email, make up a page, okay? But don't be a troll, but make up a page. Because this giveaway is going to require you to follow me, follow the fragrance group, and follow So Avant Garde on Instagram using the hashtag at AI220K, okay? That's the hashtag for the fragrance. Get AI220K. And that's obviously 20K on Instagram. So leave that in this video um, with a nice comment. Also leave something that I said, whether it was an answer from one of the fragrance questions, personal question, or YouTube question. Leave one of my answers in the comment section with the hashtag get AI to 20K. Also leave it in my, um, on my Instagram whatever latest photo or latest reel I have there, and also on the fragrance group and so avantgarde.com's uh, Instagram latest photo. Get AI to 20K, okay? Because I'm trying to get to 20K on Instagram before Christmas. So let's see if we can make that happen. Um, yeah, I, I, have, I got nothing else. I got nothing else for you, nothing else. Now I gotta clean these bottles and 
it's gonna be it's, it's a lot it's a lot thank you guys for joining me and i'll see you next week in another vlog remember to stay safe be great stay great and always strive for greatness ai the great signing out but i'll see you in my next video peace